What's good, YouTube, man? You already know who it is. Your boy, Really Kyle. Back with another video game. Back with another hair video. A lot of y'all be asking me questions on Instagram about my dreads, about how I started, what I did to dye my hair, you know, things like that. I'm gonna answer all them questions in this video because today is my two year vlog journey. It has officially been two years since I started my locks. Summer of 2020 when I started my locks. And now it's the summer of 2022. So yeah, about two years. Without further ado, man, let's just get into the video. I'm not gonna waste no more time, man. If you would like to see more hair content, subscribe to the channel, like the video, you know, do do all the all the essentials, you feel me? Now let's just get into the video game. So as I said before, I started my locks two years ago, the summer of 2020. So it was actually the summer before my uh, freshman year of high school when I started. I'm an I'm a upcoming junior now, so yeah. One thing I could tell you, I, I started with two strand twists. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different methods where people start, you know, whether you start free forms or you start with the coils, starter locks, extensions. I started my locks, two strand twist. I got I, I two strand twist in my hair and then I kind of just let it grow. I was free forming for about four months before I got my first retwist. And my first retwist, I got I interlocked. I was interlocking my hair for like a little bit. I would never I would not suggest it. I wouldn't suggest anybody interlock their hair. It was really just the situation. We didn't have like a loctician that we knew at the time. We had uh we had this lady who knew how to interlock hair and I needed to get a retwist. So she used to interlock my hair. But I used to have like no parts or nothing. She would just like it would hurt like a lot. Like I never suggest do not get interlocks. Unless you're a lot of girls get interlocks. Depending on your hair type and your hair, if you are tender headed, bro, don't get interlocks, bro. You're gonna be in pain the entire time, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I suggest, yeah, just stick to the method where you, you know, just fold it down to the root. Don't mind my length. I'm really, my hair is really longer than this. It's just, I'm not, I don't have a resource at the time, at this time. But yeah, I had two strand twists in for four months and then I got my first ever retwist. I got my first retwist, I think in that November. Like November of that year is when I got my first retwist. A lot of you on Instagram ask me like um any tips on growing your hair or things to grow your hair. I'm gonna be honest, all I really did was drink like hella water. I just drank a bunch of cause people say drinking a lot of water helps with hair growth. And I was already drinking water anyway. So I started drinking a bunch of water. And just um one tip I can give you, do stop length length checking your hair every day, bruh. What I mean by that is Every morning, do not be looking in the mirror trying to see how long your hair got, this, this, and that, bro. It's like watching grass grow, bro. I understand, you know, you want the length kind of fast, but, like, you're not going to notice any real change until you get a retwist. The more you do that, the more you're going to want to stop. The more you're going to take your hair, the more you're going to see, oh, it's not really growing, and you're just going to want to stop. So just just let your hair do what it do, bro. Just let it grow. A little tip for y'all going into the ugly stage. So I, a lot of y'all asked, what do I suggest you start your locks with? Um... I would say it really depends on you. It's really completely up to you. If you want two strands, two strands that helps you a little bit in the ugly stage, like the beginning stage, because like a two strand twist are like a normal style that people wear, not even just to start lock. So two strand twists will help you out with that. But at the same time, there are pros and cons to two strand twists. Cause uh, yeah, they look better in the starting stage, but you gonna have to, you, it takes a while for your, um, your two strand marks to like start disappearing. My two strand marks are gone already, so it may be like one in the back that you can tell was two strand twisted. But other than that, you can't really tell I got two strands. But whereas with coils, in the long run, you're not gonna see any two strand marks. You don't have to wait for any two strand twists, things like that. But I say two strand twists only because you'll probably most likely continue your stage. Everybody who gets coils either ends up combing them junks out. A lot of y'all was asking me about like dyeing your hair, about like things like that. I don't really understand too much science behind it, but when you dye your hair, it does dry your hair out. I didn't really have any hair falling out because people say when you when they dye their hair blonde, their hair started to fall out. So if that's what happened to you, maybe you ain't do it right. Maybe you get, go to a professional. If you're dealing with anything with bleach, dyeing your hair, like taking the whole color out and using bleach and stuff, do not try to do it yourself, bro. Unless you know what you're doing, don't try to do it yourself. Go to a professional or somebody who know what they're doing, because you will mess your shit up. Because I, I've been talked to a bunch of people who tried to blonde their hair. They said they scalp was burning every day, like things like that. They they just they said so. You got to be real careful when you're dealing with bleach. So if you if you dealing with that, then um I say I, I suggest you see a professional. Like, don't try to do it yourself. A couple of y'all were asking me questions about this particular dread I have right here, like why it looks like this. I forgot the name of, about, of this, but basically this dread right here was getting mad thin at the root. 
uh, this lady I went to to do my hair, she um crocheted these two together. So I don't know if I can crochet these together or not, but I really don't. I really I don't have a problem with this. I kind of like it. You know what I'm saying? One of you guys asked me what was my morning routine for my vlogs. Honestly, it's one of two things. Either I'll wake up, shake my hair, and get on with my day, or I'll wake up and wet my hair and get on with my day. That's pretty much it. The thing about locks that I like so much, so before I got locks, I had I have 4C hair. So before I had locks, I had an afro, and then I got a drop fade. It was mad nappy. I hated taking care of my hair. My hair was so hard to work with. It was just like, it was either A, I cut it off, or I just got locks. When I had an afro, I got a drop fade. Now when I got the drop fade, I didn't get the drop fade for the afro. I didn't, I had a plan, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn, I just needed the platform. Right. I had the plan. Right. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching this video. This is my two year lock journey, man. If y'all want me to drop any more hair videos, man, subscribe to the channel, bro, and I will come with more hair content. Anyway, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, like the video. If you want to see me in the future, subscribe, and I will see y'all boys in the next video, man. Peace.